This is the first day of my life I swear I was born right in the doorway I went out in the rain, suddenly everything changed They're spreading blankets on the beach Yours is the first face that I saw I think I was blind before I met you And I don't know where I am, I don't know where I've been But I know where I want to go so I thought I'd let you know Yeah, these things take forever I especially am slow But I realized Libby, when I first saw you at that pub in Melbourne, I thought, I want to take that girl back to my hotel room and have a nice dinner and talk about our feelings and get to know each other. Once we did talk, I realised there was a lot more to you than good looks. You made me laugh straight away with your quirky humour, vast knowledge of pop culture and movie quotes. Straight away I knew you were something special. Then when you constantly supported my geeky hobbies, even came along on snowboarding trips, still always making me laugh every day, I knew you were the one for me. You're the perfect contradiction. Somehow you are cute and innocent, yet strong and sexy. You're independent, and happy in your own company, but you still make me feel needed. You deserve the perfect man. I'm not that, and I'm away a lot, working. You're the best for putting up with that. Um, but I can always, I can promise you, will always be financially secure. I promise to always be around to lend an ear if you've had a stressful day or need someone to vent to. I promise I'll always clean the hair out of the plug hole and out of the vacuum because most of it's mine. I promise I'll always make an effort to cheer you up when you're down, even if you don't want to, if, even if you don't want me to, especially if you don't want me to. I promise I'll always try to remember to put the toilet seat down after I pee. I can't promise I'll always remember, but I'm aiming for like 95%. Uh, <laughs> just happy with that, guys. I promise to understand that you're not a morning person, and I'll never expect too much out of you before 8 a.m. without coffee coursing through your veins. And above all, Libby, I promise for the, the rest of my life, I will love you with all of my heart, and we'll grow old together but never ever grow up. Matt, I can honestly say that since the day I met you, I've had the disease crush on you. I never thought during all of our coy, long distance talking and flirting that I would one day be standing with you in front of our friends and family, moments away from becoming husband and wife. You were just that guy, that really cute, friendly, loving and I'm like really shaking. <laughs> Thank you, that's a guy. Uh, <laughs> you were just that guy, that really cute, fun-loving and friendly guy that lived all the way up in Townsville. And I was the girl who was freezing in Melbourne, trying to think of another reason to text you. <laughs> you have changed everything I thought I knew about love and that being undeniably, ridiculously and honestly happy with someone is not only achievable, but sustainable. I'm still pinching myself that I found my soulmate in a random pub in Melbourne. <laughs> and even though I was several tequila shots down and being completely obnoxious, slurring the punchlines of all my jokes, you still wanted to give me your number. <laughs> Matt, you are so easy to be with and falling in love with you was completely out of my control. You are wicked smart and we have the daggiest sense of humour, which both of us bounce off and we end up in stitches of laughter while those around us roll their eyes and shake their heads. You're intuitive to me and somehow know exactly what to say to make me smile, regardless of if I'm stressed, sad or half asleep. And you go out of your way to make me feel special and wanted every day. For those reasons and countless more, I vow and promise that I will always love you.
and I'm sit down. <laughs> I'll always pay extra attention when you want to tell me about what's happening in your comic books. I'll almost never skip ahead in a TV series that we're watching together. Almost. 95%. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> I will never put chilli in our cooking. I will remember to fold your socks the way you prefer them to be folded, even though that's not how I fold my own. In a pair. Which is weird. I'll always make sure we have crunchy peanut butter in the pantry. I'll always support your ideas. I will never let you feel left out. I'll never keep any secrets from you. I'll always fuss over you when you're sick. And I promise to make you feel as loved and as safe as you make me. I promise that we will always have adventure and laughter in our lives. I think I was blind before I met you And I don't know where I am, I don't know where I've been But I know where I want to go And so I thought I'd let you know Ladies and gentlemen, I now have the great pleasure of introducing for the very first time Mr. and Mrs. Harvey I realize that I need you Remember the time you drove all night Just to meet me in the morning And I thought it was strange You said everything changed You felt as if you just woke up you said, this is the first day of my life. I'm not in a hurry when it comes to your spirit, when it comes to your presence, when it comes to your voice. I'm learning to listen, just to rest in your nearness. I'm starting to Drink 
looking like there's a message in the bottle. Now daddy's painting Peggy black and blue. She closes her eyes through the hero's demise. Holds to a hope beyond the sky. She takes a breath, a weight comes off her chest. She finds a way to weather through the storm. She cried out, oh, I need me some hope. On a train to California at 25 years of age. Sat beside me was a lovely rose of wanderer. Two's always better, they say. So we made our plans. She gave me a hand. We ain't got no time for looking back. I was bruised and beaten, lost for many reasons. Only love would make you understand Oh, my love me some home Hey, I love me some home Yeah, I love me some home Only love would make you understand